Hi there, my name's David, I'm one of the doctors. Can I check your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, it's Rachel, I'm part of Baldwin's 96. Thank you. Today, I'm going to be performing a cranial nerve exam, which will involve me testing the nerves in your head and neck. Would that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. And we're in a good position to start the examination. First of all, can I ask you some quick questions? So, have you noticed any change to your smell? No. Vision? No. Hearing? No. Balance? No. Or taste? No. And your voice sounds normal when I'm speaking to you. On general inspection, you're not drooping to one side. There's no facial asymmetry. I can't see any visual or hearing aids. So we'll get started by examining the nose. I've already asked you about your smell, but can you just um, cover one nostril up, please? Then close your eyes, and can you try and identify the smell? Okay. Excellent. And I can do the same on the other side. I'm going to move on to testing your vision now. So when you're looking at me, can you see any black spots or blurry areas? Yeah. Okay. And we'll move on to testing your acuity. So I've just got a sheet here. Can you cover one eye up, please? And read this line here. Notify all relevant personnel. Excellent. And can you cover the other eye? And read this line. End simulated vent. Excellent. So for a more objective measure of acuity, I could offer a Snelling chart, and I could test color vision with an Ishihara chart. We'll move on to assessing your fields of view now. So keep looking straight at my face, and don't move your head or your eyes. Now, can you point at the finger which is wiggling? So there's no evidence of neglect or gross peripheral field vision defect. Can you cover up your right eye? Keep looking at my face and tell me whether you can see my finger. Yeah. 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 Good. Cover up your other eye. Tell me when you can see my finger. Yeah. Yeah. I can also offer to do some blind spot testing to map out the middle of your field of view in more detail. So we're going to move on to pupil reflexes now. We'll shine a light into one eye for the direct and the consensual pupil reflex. And do the same on the other side. And then test for an RAPD with the swinging light test. And there's not. I'll just comment on the pupil size and shape at rest. So they're a normal size, they're symmetrical and they're circular. This has the accommodation reflex. Can you look at my finger? And keep looking at my finger. So there's convergence and pupillary constriction there. I can also offer a pop thermoscopy at this point. So keep your head still and follow my finger with your eyes. Any pain? No. Any blurriness? No. Excellent. And there's no nystagmus on assessment either. So we'll move on to testing the nerves in your face now. I'm going to touch you at different points in your face, and can you just tell me when you feel me touching you? Yeah. Can you close your eyes, please? Yeah. 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 Did that feel normal? I'm going to feel the muscles in your jaw and the temples. Can you clench your jaw and unclench? And clench your jaw and unclench. That was normal on both sides. We're just going to do some facial expressions now. Can you raise your eyebrows up? Close your eyes tight. Don't let me open them. Open your eyes. Show me your teeth. And puff your cheeks out. And don't let me close them. Good. So there are no drooping or asymmetry in any of those movements. For completeness, I could offer the jaw jerk and corneal reflexes here. So to assess the ear, I'm going to start off by looking at the outside of the ear, looking for any foreign bodies or pus in the ear canal, or any rashes or evidence of infection. And I do that on both sides, and I can't see anything there. 
We'll then move on to a gross hearing assessment. So I'm going to rub your right ear to include the sound in that ear, and then whisper a number to you, and I'd like you to repeat that number back to me. 84. And I could come closer and whisper here, and closer, and eventually I could speak louder as well. Good. And I'll do the same on the other side. For the tuning board tests, for a Rene's test, I bring the fork, place it behind the ear, and that's number one, and that's number two, which is louder. Two. And I do the same on the other side. And for Weaver's test, I would bring the fork and place it in the middle of the forehead. And can you hear that on one side louder than the other? Same on both sides. Finally, I'm just going to get you to stand up, please. And can you close your eyes and march on the spot? So there's no rotational drift, and the balance looks good. That's great. You can take a seat, please. So, I'm going to assess the nerves in your mouth and throat now. Can you open your mouth, please? Say ah. Uh, there's no uvular deviation. Thank you. Stick your tongue out. There's no tongue deviation and no involuntary movements or wasting of the tongue. Now can you push your tongue against your cheek and the other side? And there's good power to the tongue as well. I will just ask you to take a sip of water, please. Thank you. And can you clear your throat? <coughs> Excellent. And for completeness, I could offer the gag reflex here as well. Now, finally, I'm going to test the nerves in your neck. Can you rotate your head against my hand? Excellent. And the other way. And shrug your shoulders off. There's good power in all of those movements. So, that concludes the examination. Thank you very much. I performed a cranial nerve examination on Rachel, a 26-year-old female that's presented with a two-day history of headache. This was a normal examination with no abnormal findings. For completeness, I'd like to complete a full upper and lower limb neurological examination, and further investigations may include a CT or MRI of the head. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel for updates on more videos and more topics like this. And if you want some more information and longer form tutorials, check out the website developmentdoctor.co.uk. What are you going to say? Does it actually? Email. Oh, that was nice. <laughs>